The family of a soldier from Fife who died while running the London Marathon has been honoured after raising almost a quarter of a million pounds for charity. The fundraising drive was started by Captain David Seath from Crossgate before his death in April. Gordon Cree reports. Captain David Seath was a man with a dangerous job, serving in the army, seeing action in the world's trouble spots, loved ones never knowing when a phone call might bring bad news. But he was to lose his life running the London Marathon. There were many times of worry um, when he went to Afghanistan, even just joining up initially, um, when he was in the Middle East as well. And as I say, D David loved a risk, David loved a challenge. Um, and if he could take it that step further, David would. Um, and so, yes, the marathon should have been a walk in the park. With just three miles left of the race, he collapsed from a cardiac arrest and couldn't be saved. He was fundraising for Help for Heroes, the charity which supports soldiers and veterans where they're injured or in need of a helping hand. His family have carried on that work in David's memory and have now received an award for raising nearly £250,000. So many people raising money and... They were posting on the Just Giving page, his family will never see this, but this is our contribution. So it's important to like let them know that, yes, we did see that and we're incredibly grateful to everyone. And yes, they've been part of David's legacy in supporting those who have encountered uh, physical and psychological trauma in service of the country and they're making a real difference to their lives. The Captain David Seath Memorial Fund isn't just about bringing money in but putting it to good use. Already 154 people have been directly helped. An example would be um, Ali in, in a Stirling area that lives and he had a handbike. He was awarded a handbike as part of um, David's fund and we see him out in the hills now with his dog um, and getting around from his wife because he keeps falling off. And it's just, it's just heartwarming to know that um, that is what David's legacy has done. That's given that man some independence, some joy back. Um, and that, that's what makes a difference to us. And there are plans for more events in the next year to make sure David Seath's dream didn't die with him. Gordon Cree, STV News, Crossgates.